Hi students, welcome all. In our last modules, we discussed chapter number 7, Permutations and Combinations. In our first module, we discussed about fundamental principle of counting. And in second and third, we discussed about factorial. In our fourth module, we discussed about permutations. Now, in this module, we are going to discuss some problems on permutation and combinations. First, we discuss about permutation, some word problems in permutation. Question number 1. In how many ways can five children stand in a row? It is number of arrangement of five children in a row is equal to number of permutations of five taken all at a time that is equal to permutation of five children taken all at a time that is p five five which is equal to five factorial we have n p n as n factorial using that 5 p 5 is equal to 5 factorial which is equal to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 we get 5 2 for 3 is a 6 4 is a 24 into 5 that is 120 ways 5 children can stand in a row in 520 sorry 120 ways okay question number 2 from among the 30 teachers in a school one principal and one vice principal are to be Pointed in how many ways? In how many ways this be done? Here we have to arrange thirty teachers taken two at a time. This total number of teachers, total number of teachers is equal to 30 out of 30 teachers we have to arrange taken two at a time that is number of ways of appointing one principal and one vice principal out of 30 teachers is equal to the same as number of permutation of that is arrangement means permutation of 30 objects taken two at a time that is equal to p32 that is equal to 30 p2 which is equal to we can write it as 30 into 29 equals 870. Clear. Next question number 3. The 7 athletes are participating in a race in how many ways the first three prices be won solution here 
the total number of ways in which first three prices can be won is equal to the number of permutation of number of permutation of seven objects is same as the number of ways in which first three prices can be won out of seven um, athletes that is this is equal to the number of permutation of seven objects taken there are seven athletes seven athletes are participating in a race there are three prices then the number of permutation of seven objects taken three at a time that is equal to p73 which is equal to 7p3 inverse order you can write 7 into 6 into 5 which is equal to answer is 210 okay next question number 4 how many three digit numbers can be formed by using the digits 1 to 9 using the digits 1 to 9 if no digit is repeated if no digit is repeated for the total number of digits is 9 we have to fill the three places that is we have to form a three digit number we have to fill three places using this nine digits that is from one to nine we have to fill then the this is at once tens and hundreds ones place ones tens and hundred place first we fill hundred place hundred place can be filled in nine ways after that we can fill this in if here uh, one to nine one of the digits take the position here first place then there are eight ways of filling the tens and there are seven ways by fundamental principle of counting, we know that 9 into 8 into 7. But now we are using the method permutation. That is number of 3 digit number formed by using digits 1 to 9 is same as number of permutation or arrangement number of permutation of nine objects taken three at a time which is equal to 9p3 equals 9 into 8 into 7 the answer will be same 9 into 8 into 7 is equal to 504 okay next question number 5 How many four digit number? How many four digit numbers are there with no digit with no digit repeated? How many four digit number are there? We can uh, use the fundamental principle of counting here also there are two methods one using fundamental one's place tens and this is hundreds and thousand there are ten digits total number of digits we have there are ten digits zero to nine zero also we can use but in thousand place we can't fill zero therefore here there is only nine ways we use one to nine if, if here it is zero then it is a three digit number so we can't use zero here there are nine ways of filling the uh, thousands place and hundred place can be filled using here zero can be used one of the digit will take the uh, thousand place then there will be eight 
uh, digits remaining including 0 there will be 9 so 100 place can be filled in 9 ways then here 8 ways and this is 7 ways then total number of ways is 9 into 9 into 8 into 7 this is by fundamental principle of counting by using permutations we have 10 digits number of digits uh, there is no digit repeated number of digits used is 4 0 cannot be filled in the thousands place that is first place or fourth place from here it is one step two three four then fourth place or from here we are filling then it will be uh, we say this as thousands place so number of digits used there are uh, 10 digits total number of digits number of digits used is equal to four we are going to use four digits since zero cannot be filled in thousands place we can't fill zero at thousand place so number of permutations for thousands place is equal to it can be filled in nine ways that is 9p1 it is 9p1 which is equal to permutations of 9 objects taken what from this 9 digits we can take around that is equal to 9 ways now the remaining 3 places now the remaining 3 places can be filled using the remaining 9 digits there will be 9 digits remaining this can be done in this can be done in 9 p3 ways then by fundamental principle of counting then by fundamental principle of counting total number of 4 digit numbers is equal to 9 into 9 p 3 that is the thousand place can be filled in 9 ways and the remaining 3 place can be filled in 9 p 3 ways then total number of ways is equal to if it is m ways and n ways m n ways by fundamental principle of counting 9 into here 9 p 3 is 9 into 8 into 7 which is equal to answer is 9 into 9 into 8 into 7 9 into 9 into 9 into 8 into 7 is 504 from the previous question we have in 9 into 504 is equal to 4536 will be okay clear okay students we will discuss some more problems in our next module okay thank you all